overcoming the three-day event which is in its second year is designed to promote indigenous content in the telecommunications sector the expo features multi-sectoral participants including indigenous telecom operators manufacturers regulators policymakers innovators industry leaders startups and other actors in the telecom ecosystem to showcase their products and services innovative solutions and new technologies while presenting the industry address chairman of the association of licensed telecoms operators of nigeria engineer Gwinga adebayo focused on what he believes is one of the fastest solutions to the growing challenge of brain drain popularly called jackpot syndrome he said if the government is desirous of discouraging the trend especially among young talented nigerians there must be intentional actions of developing indigenous content by creating an enabling environment for homegrown technologies. Adebayo also advised the new Minister of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy to ensure that the industry regulator is truly independent and not involved in anything political. We are losing a lot of our best and brightest to this thing they call Japa syndrome. Can you blame the people? Maybe not. Because as a people and as a country, we have not been able to provide enough social guarantees that will keep these young ones here. I have two children who have been educated abroad. None of them want to come back home, even for the best of assurances. And they ask basic questions, which even I cannot provide answers. So we train them, where we spend a lot of money training them. We train them for other economies to benefit from their knowledge. And I think the time has come when the industry has to begin to make preparations for their repatriation. The connections you make, the conversations you have, and the ideas you generate during this expo could very well be the seeds of transformation that, that the Nigerian telecoms industry needs to flourish. Arax is a mobility platform. Um, we help you know, consumers have access to intermodal form of transportation through the app and help operators digitize their processes. As we all know, NCC is like the regulatory body that captures everything digital in, in Nigeria. So it's a very huge platform to come and see what other great startups are doing, showcase some of our core technologies, connect with um, industry players, and look out for opportunities for further growth for our company. It's quite enthusiastic. I think it's a platform for me to showcase what I'm doing because I think the climate crisis um, is everybody's responsibility between me and even you that you're broadcasting us as into the larger community um, to showcase what we can have, um, an indigenous solution that can be able to provide a solution to the climate crisis um, in Nigeria, for Africans, and even to the world. The Executive Vice Chairman of the Nigerian Telecommunications Commission, Professor Omar Dambata, shares the perspective that brain drain constitutes a significant concern for the sector. He says the Commission has, however, formulated a series of strategic policies aimed at mitigating this challenge, part of which was a recent meeting with Nigerians in the diaspora to ensure that they get value for their innovations at home. The Nigeria Telecoms uh, Indigenous Content Expo in Taish 2023 is a declaration of Nigeria's commitment to shaping its di digital destiny. As we navigate this dynamic landscape, let us remember that our progress is intrinsically linked to our ability to harness the power of indigenous innovation, leverage technology for positive change, and ensure that no one is left behind in this uh, transformative journey. The theme for this second edition of the Expo is Anessing Indigenous Content for Economic Growth Networking to Boost Investment. It continues till Thursday. Oba Adeoye, Arise News, Lagos.